All right, we're back some more gameplay, and this time we have unranked Diamond with Garen. Garen is a great champion because he's very, very simple, so he's great for all loyal players, and he's a very jack of all trades type character, meaning that he's not that great at any one thing, but he can basically, he's capable of doing many things, right? So if your team needs a split push, he can do that. If your team needs a team fighter, he can do that. So given his versatility, he's a great champion to pick up and main if you're new to top lane, or if you just want to switch to main at like, doesn't take that many games to learn. Right now we're up against Teemo and the rank right here is Bronze. Because we're up against Teemo, I went for this rune page, right? And I went for Magic Resist in the stats. So yeah, let's just get right into it. We basically don't want to take too much poke from him, okay? Like, basically speaking, when you're up against ranged top laners, you kind of have to just gauge, like, the cost of each CS, right? So I went in there to get the one CS and it cost one auto attack. Got one, one on attack. So the whole point in fighting a ranged top laner is gauging whether that one CS is worth that amount of health being lost. In most cases, it's a no because ranged top laners will be able to just full combo you. But if you're playing a character like Garen who has good sustain, then it's actually not that bad to go for some CS, right? As long as you actually wait for your passive and your Doran shield to actually like tick and finish healing you. If you don't, then it's not gonna be too good. Go. Because he walked up and he used his Q, which was the only thing stopping me from queuing him and comboing him, I had to run in there to do a trade. And with the Ignite, I threatened to kill, after which point he flashed away. So let's ping his flash. Gotta communicate with our teammates. I know junglers are probably not gonna look at that at your ranks, but in case they do, it's a good sort of encouragement for them to come over, basically. Okay. We're gonna kill all these minions one by one by one. And I'm going to try to see if I can kill this Teemo here. Let me use my kiss all reset. Okay, if I can just get on top of him. Ah, that sucked. Oof. I didn't count on him to blind me. I just thought it was an attack. So I wasted my flash Q. Oh, good. We just have to run near and pretend like we're gonna cue him then. He's dead. There we go. Because he didn't block our Q, he died. I'm gonna try to get away from him. There we go. Nice. That was kind of messed up because he, you know, um,. Basically, we want to crash our wave into the enemy turret so that our minions are hitting the enemy turret instead of the enemy minions because every single enemy minion is a CS that we could have taken, okay? So now that Kane came and kind of just stopped the, our wave from crashing into the turret, we lost a lot of the enemy CS that we could have potentially farmed, okay? This is why we crash waves into turrets. So yeah, the wave is in a worse position than before, but Timo did not know how to freeze the wave, so he just kept pushing it, which is actually in our advantage. Now, there's a case to be made for maybe I could have killed the cane there while he was in the middle of my minions, but I'd rather not take that risk. Okay. Let's chill here. We're maxing E because this is a tech speed Garen. Spin to win, all that good stuff. I will not falter. This world needs hope. Okay. He doesn't know that J4 is behind him. Let's walk back in. Nice. We should be able to kill him. If he walks in, good. We're gonna use our E to quickly shove this wave into the enemy turret. And now we're back. Now the thing with Garen is that the laning process until now should be basically a nightmare because most champions are just stronger than Garen early. But when Garen hits level 6, his ultimate power spike is so like crazy huge. 
they can get like a ton of work with it done, okay? You have Ignite and your ultimate. You can practically just one combo people by just Q, E spin, a few all attacks and Ignite ultimate, okay? And I'm gonna try to display this on this Teambo right now. But yeah, um, Garen's got a pretty sick level six power spike. One more thing that Garen actually has is the ability to roam quite well. His Q move speed lets him basically just run around the map and get a lot of stuff done. All right, yeah, so it's recalling. If he was gonna stay for this farm, I would've just ran in and killed him. That's fine. Our build for this game is gonna be a Strybreaker and then a Dayman split so I can actually run around and help the team out. Okay, here's the Teemo. I'm spinning first. Okay, he's running on a turret so I can't really do the final all attacks to put him down. But it's fine. The thing is, once you hit your higher levels as Garen, basically every single trade where you live at the end is good because you'll just heal up way more than other champions. So our passive is like nine health per second. That's basically almost a health potion. Avail like open at all times. So yeah. Garen is a great champion if you're not that good at taking trades, if you're not good at basically the basics of top lane essentially, right? And as long as you are good at not dying for level six, you are good to just um, you know, hear level six power spike and then kill people off of it. Now we know that Timo put a shoom in the middle here. We saw it. So I'm gonna let the wave push in without being in the range of the shroom explosion. Okay. Let me just blow up. I'm gonna wait for him to come up here and then just run on him. We block this with our W. Good. Now we run around and get to the wave. He flashed out of that as well, or he attempted to. So that's his summer spells down as well. Nice. That was close. Anyway, let's recall. We're going for a Strybreaker. Strybreaker is an amazing item for Garen. It slows people down to set up the rest of his E. So we're going to go for it. I think I... I'll take the pickaxe and the dagger here. I want the AD and the attack speed set our E spins faster. Let's run with Q. You always want to spam your Q when you're running back into lane. It's part of the reasons why you don't want to go teleport on Garen. Because, like, you can basically just Q spam to get anywhere on the map much faster than any other champion. That's the power of having move speed in your kit this readily available. Okay, I'm going to try to thin this wave out. Okay. Team put one shroom here, one shroom there. I'm going to just memorize those two. So that I don't run into them at a later date. One trick that Teemo players do is when you're chasing them, they will run over their shrooms. Like, try to trick you into running over them too. So if you're chasing a Teemo, never do it in a straight line unless you know that the area is cleared of shrooms. If you're having trouble against like running into shrooms with Teemo, it's always a decent idea to get a sweeper. Uh, this thing. Uh, oh yeah, right, the Oracle Lens, yeah. It's called a sweeper, but... You want to get the Oracle Lens, and it'll basically just reveal all wards and Shroom Traps near you so you can avoid them, right? And to make up for the lack of wards you get from the Yellow Trinket, you can always get a Control Ward and just place it down and try to protect it. Because if you place a Control Ward down and you can't protect it, it's basically just useless. Because the enemy can just kill, right? Gotta get out of the range of that. Gonna wait. Okay. Ran through both of them! All good. Let's just chillax and heal up. Or kill him. Okay, one more run and we kill him straight up. Ah, the K was here. 
I kind of overgreeded for the kill on the Teemo there, which basically gave the opening for the Kane to come up here and kill me. Sucks, but honestly, it's kind of my bad for not anticipating that the Kane would be here. Let's get the Hearthbound Axe for our Moose Speed in the middle of the Allens as we all attack the enemy. As we get closer to Strybreaker, this lane should be just much easier because, as you guys notice, we actually get into the range of the Teemo, but he kind of just walks away, right? Now, there are two kinds of solutions to that. Number one, you can go Strybreaker, right? You always go Strybreaker again, but Strybreaker basically just eliminates that. The other solution is to run Face Rush. Now, in my opinion, if you're playing Garen at low elo, you should just go Conqueror. Because with Conqueror, you get more damage, and you can just one-shot people. Face Rush, if you're like Platinum, Diamond, higher, you need Face Rush so you can actually like counter things that out move speed you, out dodge you, out dash you, you know? Garen needs the Face Rush move speed to keep up with some of these champions, or like... Like, disengage. Let's say you're up against a Darius. As Garen, you never want to all in a Darius unless, like, you can just kill him in one go. So what do you do? You go in, you trade, you run out with Phase Rush, and he can't keep up with you. And once you're out, you just wait until you heal back up. And because your sustain is better than his, you can just go back in and kill him next time basically easily, right? He can't do anything about it. Now that we're level 9, our passive has just kicked up a massive notch, okay? That's two health pots active at all times, and it's only going up. What, I, what we're doing right here is basically freezing, okay? We're keeping a wave around the turret so that if the Teemo walks up, we run at him and we kill him. As you guys can see, Teemo can't ever farm without me just running into him and killing him here. Like, if you're a low rank player, try your best to understand as much wave control as possible. Because if you just understand freezing like this, you can basically just win the lane single-handedly off of it. Like, it's just, it's like a cheat, right? If the enemy knows, if the enemy doesn't know about it and you do, it's like a straight up cheat. Look at the CS difference. Obviously, I'm a high rank player, so I'm gonna have better CS than him. But it's not like a 20 CS lead or like a 30 CS lead. It's like nearing up to be 50. So just like freezing is a life hack. Learn it. Let's just W down. Good. I, I'm, I, I want to do auto-attack. I want to level this one. Okay. Got to keep the freeze up. You don't need 50 kills on a person to win lane, right? Look, the gold lead... Okay, so roughly speaking, 20 CS is the equivalent of a kill. So we're 3 kills up on him, and we have like 50 CS up on him. So we're 3 kills, and then 2.5 from the CS. We're 5.5 kills ahead of this Teemo, which is absolutely huge. Come on, boys. Okay, J4 is being chased through. Okay. All right, Timo has to go all the way around. That's good. Let's get back on the freeze. Alright, because we had to leave and not maintain the freeze anymore, it's now broken. Let's crash this in. Ah, he just got out of range. If he had Strybreaker there, he would have just been able to slow him. Cool. Let's hang back, heal up, and try again. Let's shove all this in. Good. Okay, let's recall now. 
And get our Shirebreaker. Shirebreaker should make life infinitely easier for us, by the way. Bang, and let's go for more move speed. Okay, let's run back into lane here. Get in and try to kill this team. Oh. Now, it's actually great that we're up against the Yasa and the Kane because they're champions who get a lot of work done with their abilities, right? But, thanks to us having a silence at our disposal, we can basically just use this to, like, keep them from doing anything for one and a half seconds. It's the equivalent of, like, crowd control, right? And during that time, a lot of damage can be dealt to them. Let's just put it that way. You can always use Strabbreaker doing your ES Garen. That's also why it's so good. Bruh. Okay. There we go. Because we knew that their team was caught up on the other side of the map, we knew that Noah would be here to help the team out. That's why we could proxy and cut him off before he came back into lane. And then we put him down. Good. Let's see if I can get down here, no? I was gonna see if the camel would just keep chasing, I would have get, gotten down there to help kill him, but he seems to be falling back. I'll try to counter jungle his camps then. Got the cane, good. I'll just take everything else then. Got a nice strike coming up. There we go. He stole our buff, but we got it back. Nice. Let's crush this wave in. Good. Gonna get to these Krugs. The guy closest to your spin takes the most damage, by the way. So always be mindful of that. Okay, we recall, get our damn mass plate, and then we start running in and bonking people. Kaisa's getting work done, that's good to see. And now we are the fast. This is the point of the game where Garen just gets like unlocked. Because you have enough Musui to go like anywhere on the map as quickly as you want and just like get stuff done. Again, you're not the best at anything, but if your positioning is good enough, you will be at the right moment, at the right time, to do the right thing that's like just enough to make sure that, that situation is one for your team, okay? And that starts at this second with Strikebreaker and damn mass plate. You gotta just survive until this moment, essentially. Not sure what we're trying to do, homeboy. Okay, let's farm this too. Okay, Yasuo's here. I can one combo the Yasuo if the Blitz gets a good hook. Or I can one combo basically anyone if he gets a good hook. There we go. Let's get her too. Nice. And they surrendered. We had a pretty fat team, so it's not the best display of what Garen can do, but I'd say it's enough. Let's see the next one. Peace out. All right, we got another match in bronze here. We're up against Mordekaiser Top. Mordekaiser Top is a very oppressive match to deal with as Garen. He is, uh, he kind of outranges you. And if he lands a hook, the amount of damage he gets off on you is actually insane. 
This is one of those matches where I actually recommend to go face wash, but unfortunately, I went conquer because I was using the preset room pages and you can change them every champ select. And I had the room page that worked for last champ select, but then it just resets every time. So that's a lesson for me and also for you to always set your own room pages and not use anything that's pre-made by anybody. Anyway, let's just get right into it. Mordekaiser. The general idea is that we basically just want to chill, right? And if he misses abilities, then we want to punish him. He's going to queue all this. Uh, okay. I'm going to get a lot of damage off. I should have just gone for a Q then. Trying to bait out this Q here. Nice. Not going to let him walk up here. Got to walk back so he doesn't get his... Uh, Passive off. Almost hit us. Okay, good. We are able to do that because of Ignite. Also, pay attention to how I moved between minions there. Okay? If we let him have that Q on to me, then it would have just basically killed us. But we didn't. So he didn't do enough damage to put us down at the end there. Okay. Let's just guide the minions into the turret. And then we leave. Okay. Let's go for our Zerker's Greaves. Now we will need magic resistance at some point in this lane. And I'm thinking about just buying it and building it into a QSS so that we don't have to fight him in his ultimate. That's like a very big life hack against Mordekaiser because no matter what happens, he actually does just straight up beat you in his ultimate, right? Unless you've killed him like five, six times already. So to avoid that, you can either one, never get into a situation where he can ult you, or two, build a QSS, play like normally, and the second he ults you, just pop the QSS and leave, right? That's honestly the easier way to like handle it. But it'll basically just mean that someone else has to tank the Mordekaiser ult. Now I'm gonna try to see if we can. He wants to fight me here. So we got the Lee going. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, we can kill the Echo here. Okay. Nice. Okay, this was a bad idea. Let's flash out. Oof. Nice. He underestimated my Q. Good. Show this baby in. Nice. Okay, let's recall. Gonna get my Berserker's Greaves and then a No Mantle for the extra bit of MR we need this lane. There we go. Now we run back in. We are running D Shield and Second Wind here. So has to have a bit more sustain. It's basically the same room page exactly as like the Teemo game, except uh, I took armor instead of magic resist for some reason. Don't ask. Ooh, she know that hit me. Or that. Oh, we get level 6 soon. There we go. We could literally just take the stupidest fight possible because we knew we got level 6 from all those minions. 
And if you saw, during my E, I actually moved towards the minions instead of focusing on the Mordekaiser to just get the CS and get my level 6. Once I secure my level 6, it was pretty easy to just put the Mordekaiser down with my ultimate. Now, he's gonna have his ult, so I'm thinking to just get quick service sash right now and basically be done with it. The thing about Mordekaiser is that outside of his ultimate, he is quite weak, but inside of his ultimate, he is king. He will always win inside of his ultimate. So what you want to do is basically not fight him in his ultimate. Just run away from him. Waste his time. Okay, do not engage. Put as much distance between you and him as possible. And QSS means that we, ba we basically avoid his ultimate in its entirety. We don't have to deal with it at all. So it's a very good life hack if you are playing a bruisery champion who can afford to build it. Okay. Now, obviously, you can just beat the Mordekaiser and be strong enough to just, um, you know, survive his ultimate too. But if he's a decent Mordekaiser player, he's just going to play safe earlier on so that you can't beat him. And he'll just only fight you level 6. And when he does, because he's not died until level 6, he's just going to have the advantage. Because Mordekaiser always has the advantage in his ultimate. Unless you've killed him already a few times. Don't want to push it too hard. Just the, just want to see a bit of the minions. Bang. Let's get a good trade here. Nice. Perfect little trade. No way, well, no way back off. Let's wait for him to waste his abilities. His Q wasted. I'm going to hold these minions right here to make it so that the distance between him and his turret is just massive, so he's not safe. His E is gone. That's like the main thing that we gotta avoid, basically, his hook. He uses W. I'm pretty sure we can just go in for a kill here. There we go. A big part of why Mordekaiser is just so hard to kill is because his W is like, just multiplies his health by like a giant amount like you like it basically just gives him so much hp to work off of and by the time you cut through it he's probably just killed you and when he wastes a w for the heal like that and he wasn't like at a distance where he could just get away from us then he was just dead if you're the mordekaiser don't ever waste your w i know it's like a small ability but it really makes a difference in a lot of these fights Okay, I'm gonna go for the Iron Spike with here. Iron Spike whip similar to Server can be procced in the middle of your E. So it's good to layer on top of it to do some extra bit of damage. Nice. Lead with a 1v1 kill. On the map scale, we're kind of just winning the top side of the map here. Ball lane is a bit even with the enemy ball lane having the advantage, really. Now, okay, we're gonna freeze this lane again. Force him to waste an ability, then run on him and kill him. Justice, by law or by soul. These will trade there. Chomped away a big portion of his health. We should be able to just straight kill him with our next ultimate and ignite. Just use his W. So let's see if I can ride the hook here. There we go. Had to use the iron spike whip at the end there to make sure that the bleed would not bleed the 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 ignite burn would kill him. Let's get that turret plating. If you're hitting turrets, you always want to use your Q as an auto reset. One oh five, bro. Nah, you don't. All right, let's go back. Get a bunch of stats going. 
get the hearth bond next here. We are looking pretty juicy and rotund, if I have to say so myself. Our courage must never waver. What is he doing, bro? I mean, even if he caught me, I would just be able to kill him, right? <laughs> so that's not exactly a, a chase that's going to be too fruitful. I'm afraid, buddy. Didn't do any damage there, but just had to hit him. XP for that. Okay. Close man. Siren here. Being effective, I suppose. To protect our land. I will not it's never a, like a terrible idea to use your spec whip to help you clear the way faster. Hmm. Perhaps we have to go mid here. Pick up some kills. Help the team out. Oh, that sucks. Wasn't fast enough. I could have used my QSS, but I just wouldn't catch up to him because I ran out of Q rate. Times like these are why we need a dead mass plate ASAP. Because without it, we don't really, you know, get untopicable as quickly as we should to be effective. Okay. Again, as Garen, we don't really care about trades going even or terrible for us post level nine because of just how much we heal just look at this 10 seconds and that's like you know what like more than like like 15 percent of our health back already so it's quite a massive amount that we heal by okay <laughs> i appreciate the theory behind that play We seriously have to start roaming though, because the game might get out of control. Like these mid fights, like they're kind of going even right now, but if we get into a world where they start going towards the direction of our enemy, then that might be terrible for us. <coughs> so now here's what we do as Garen the Magician. See guys, my health is going to come back out of nowhere. Out of nothing, we got our health back. Whoa, magic. Obviously, you can heal too, but not as well as us. Okay. Gonna wait for my flash here. Oh, that was not good. Should not be getting hit by the enemy when trying to heal up like that. In any case, we're healing back up way more than him, so we should be able to just wait and kill him. Yes, I did leave mid lane, so maybe he's coming up here. Let's get back here. Can't catch me, boy. Ready. 
fucking die of me. Do it. He's a free man. Let him walk. Never forget why we fight. That's it. <laughs> they just love having more move speed than everybody. <laughs> just wasting everyone's time. They have three people up here. Just trying to <laughs> kill me. <laughs> oh, man. And we're full health. Ain't that nice. Let's push the rest of this wave up. The honor of wasting time is such a huge part of Garen. It has to be mastered if you're truly going to be effective on this champion. Coming up. Had to style on him there. I thought he'd cube, but okay. That can just die on its own if necessary. Okay, we got the turret, we killed the Mordekaiser again, and we have 3,000 gold to recall on. Ain't that perfect. Strike Breaker, dead man's plate. 900 more. Oh, good to go on the DMP. Let's get into the action. Now I'm thinking I'll go around here. If our team fights the enemy team, I'll go help them, right? Just follow the enemy team and their efforts. Try to counter gank. Guys. Did they not realize? Okay. It's funny because he walked over the ward, but okay. Try to see if they can push up here so I can maybe flank them. Nice. Perfect. We wiped out their bot lane. That's good. We have to sacrifice our top turret for the... For the Mordekaiser. Good. Let's kill this guy too. That's fine. I kind of wish I got the Yasuo kill, but, you know, it's fine. Kill's a kill. Pickle's still in here? Okay. Oh, almost, almost. Almost. Okay. Staying here is a death sentence, so I'd rather just... Cheese kill one of these jungle camps to get my DMP and leave. Okay. Okay, buddy. Is that kill? Nice, good job. Well, that's pretty good. We get our dead man's plate out of all that. We've single-handedly caused four deaths through one tour here. Killed these two, killed him, and then killed the Zyra again. So I'd say that through our Garen roams, we've essentially snowballed our entire team forward to victory. All you gotta do is put down this echo a few more times, and I'd say that's that for the enemy team and their efforts. Let's run in here and help out the Yasuo, or the Yon rather. He's about to get collapsed on. Don't worry, bro. I got you. Okay. 
Uh, I, I ulted the wrong person! I ulted the wrong person! Man, I'm sad about that. Mordekaiser's hitbox was too fat. Okay. Now it's time for me to do some split pushing. Because... Pushing from multiple direction, pushing around one wave, all at once, is not seeming too fruitful. Let's see if we can get the echo here. Is he rotating? Nope. Go back to the top wave then. I got the Yas, so that's good. I will fight as long as I stand. Okay. Let's get this turret down. We're way too fast for your pal. For your buster. Let's get this rev off here. Nice. Want a box, bro? No, you do not. Back to our meal here. You want to go too? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> that was close. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go for damage here. Um I kinda don't need the anti-heal. Something just fam dancer would be decent enough. Most of the time, like more reminder, like like more reminder used to be a great option, but ever since they like changed it to be more of like an ADC item, you kind of can't go it as Garen anymore. So I think Phantom Dancer is like the replacement of that. Obviously, you can also go other items like like Cleaver or whatever, right? But I kind of want to go crit this game to do a ton of damage. The crit build is not something I recommend every single match. But the reason why Garen can kind of get away with it is because, like, he gets a ton of just natural tankiness. He almost killed us there despite us having 11 kills. That's the power of Mordekaiser Ultimate, by the way. That is indeed the power of Mordekaiser Ultimate. Oh well, doesn't matter. Get this turret down. Go farm the lane, bro. Don't follow me over like a puppy, man. I'm a, I'm a solo agent. I work alone. Alright, let's get this in him. We don't have our ultimate just yet, so we can't really threaten them too much. I should I should have striped record earlier. I should have record early. She didn't realize we're coming. <laughs> this is the best part about playing care. <laughs> just waste people's time. Like, like we literally have like half their team just chasing us. Uh. 
Oh, that's so funny. So funny. Okay, Yas is behind us, so let's just go the other way. Oh man, we got smited. Oof. Alright. Get our Phantom Dancer now, more move speed, more damage, more crit. And I'm thinking of our quick blades to uh oh, finish off the build with a crit. Then maybe Storm Razor. Who knows? Alright, um, how long do I actually want to have fun for? Because we do have to finish this game out, right? Um, I'd say I'll mess around for like 3-4 minutes more and then I'll gear the team up to end the game. Is it a little immoral to control the game to this extent? When these guys are just having their normal solo queue matches? Maybe. But is it fun when you're fed as Garen? Definitely yes. So, uh, <laughs> I have to. But yeah, um, honestly, if I were, if you were in my position and this is like your ranked game, just finish the game out, right? Don't ever play for fun. Because, like, uh, like the way I say that is terrible, but winning and fun are almost never going to be the same in League of Legends. To win, you have to do the things that are not fun. So, like, just... If you truly want to rank up and win the like at the game, you have to sacrifice the fun, okay? Sacrifice the fun and exchange it for satisfaction that you're actually winning and climbing, okay? That's the necessary mentality shift you need to actually get like seriously good at this game. Ward. Okay. All right, let's get in here. Let's get in here and crunch on some enemies. Leave some for me, boys! Leave some for me. Who's coming up next? Where's the Kaisa? Oh, well, let's get the inhib then. Got all that fan dance from attack speed. Okay, Jinx got zapped into the Shadow Realm. She's back. How was your trip, bro? More the Kaiser. More. Hello. There you are. You're not getting away, pal. I was basically challenging him to, to stun me there and get into this W. Took a tiny amount of damage. So it's time to heal. Let's get this turret. Ka-chunk! That's one down. Whoa, this is a little risky. Risk is my middle name. Never mind, it's not. Oh. Yes, my, my full name is Roku Risk Television. Hello, sweetheart. Okay, let's just end this one real quick. These stars are really annoying, but I'm sorry guys, can't really do too much about it. Riot Games, am I right or am I right? Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.
All right, we're back to our gameplay with Gary Rupp against Willowberry Top, and we are in silver. So I'd say that the silver rank is basically the middle of the pack in terms of the median, right? This is the average league player's domain. So this should be quite relevant for you boys. We're in Ignite, and we're up against Volibear. Now the Volibear matchup is, um, it's kind of weird in that he has insane damage early, okay? If we get hit by both his lightning thing and his stun, he's going to get basically, he's going to chunk us off very hard. So we can't really do too much early levels. We've got to wait until we put points into our E. And once we have a bunch of points in our E, then if we use our W properly to block his burst damage, we should be able to win the trade because W gives you a lot of like um, damage reduction. It reduces the damage that you take by 30%. So what you can do with W is you press W the second the enemy is about to deal a lot of damage to you, and then it just basically destroys a lot of that damage, right? That's what we're kind of looking for. Now, Volibear's level one is kind of weak. So if I could just land most of these spins right here, I didn't land most of them, but yeah. All right. I think it's time we just back off. I thought I could maybe get in range to do like the E cheese level one, but we didn't. So we're just gonna get back off. Heal using our perseverance and essentially just get back into the game later. Ooh, his range for that is quite large. Large. He doesn't have Ignite, so he won't be able to do too much to us. But I have to just like stay out of the range of the minions is like lightning. So that it doesn't stop my passive. Good. Our healing should kick in now to be a bit good. But yeah, we're in a bad matchup, so you do have to chill out. Can't do too much here. He just got all his abilities. If we go in, there's a very good chance he just lands his whole combo on us and destroys us. In any case, we are healing back up, so it's good to just play for our heal. Okay, we snuck away with the uh, cannon there. Pretty good. He could have punished us. I was kind of preparing my W to block his damage, but he didn't, so whatever. Okay. <clears throat> good stuff. Let's wait for him to crash into the turret and then get back and try to trade into him. We have Ra we have um, Ramos here though, so maybe we can fight actually. He doesn't have Ignite, so... Okay, has his flash gone. Hmm... I knew that the Voibear would be killed by the sauce there, so I went from the Billabeth. So maybe, maybe we can kill her too, but it's fine. We're in a terrible situation right now, actually, because we're not allowed to uh, recall here. It's gonna drink my pot. Okay. I'm gonna have to recall here. Let's get back, get some damage out. We're not at a position where we can actually put up a very good fight against him. We'd have to sacrifice that wave, unfortunately, but that is how it is. Okay, let's run back in. Gotta spam our Q, so we lose as little minions as possible. Once we have Ignite and our um, ultimate, we should be able to put him down though, so that's good. And from that point on, we run on the map, kill everyone, you guys get the idea. Okay, Fall Bear is not recalling, that's good. Let's see. Here he is. Okay, 
Good. Ah, almost, almost, almost. He ran out of our E just by like a microsecond. Uh, let's shove this lane in. He should be like pushed out of the wave. Like he should be pushed out of lane. He can't really stay. He's staying? Okay, we'll just walk up and ult him then. He made that easy for us, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, um... Okay, nothing to really commentate on. Let's go Berserker Greaves, but towards a Strybreaker. And I'd say that's that for the lane. That was a terrifyingly stupid waste of flash, though, but I thought I could kill him there. Happens. I'm not a Garen main by any means. I'm kind of picking these champions up as I go. But Garen is simple enough to pick up pretty quickly. Okay, they have a pretty um, disgusting team fight for us to deal with here, actually. A lot of big CC abilities by the Nico, the Thresh, Volbear, and the Beldath. So we're going to have to be very um, conscious about our movement. Okay. Let's get him to push this in. We have Ramos on our corner. So we should be able to get a fight off with him. Nice. Looks like the triumph nerfs did not end up in us dying. Man, that's so close. Oh, let's get out of here. Thank you, Ramos. He is trying his best. Oh, almost, almost. I should have queued her first. I should have queued her first. Pretty sure he kills her, no? He has no mana. Why'd she go that direction? He catches her. Goodbye. Alien. Bam. Ran over by Spiky Boy. Good job, bro. Um, let's just walk back into lane. Not gonna do any purchase. We might have to go for a cleaver second item this game, or maybe a fam dancer, even if we're just super fed in lane and we can destroy this guy without any problems. Love to see. Almost. Let's try to slow push this one. I doubt I can freeze it, because in this position the melees will just run under the turret, but... Almost, almost, almost. Let's clear this out then. I'll try to see if I can go for good trades here. We kind of don't want to start a trace with our Q. Just E first. Is he just going to do that the whole way now? Let's see. Bellweth is around, so... The second he goes in is the second that Bellweth is going to be here. So let's just not fight at all. Okay. He's slow pushing it. Let's get some wards going. Oh, it's not here anymore. Let's go. Now back off, heal back, and then get back into the action. Good 
good. We just hit our level 9, so our healing should be pretty good. Let's see what he's made of. Come on then, big boy. I've kind of not been able to do parole, but you just want to pay attention to Volibear's model and time your W with his Q stun. One huge part of Garen is that he actually has to do no like resource management at all. He has no mana. You just run around, use your abilities for whatever you need them. Ah, uh, that sucked. He was able to last hit us there with his W. Honestly, my ultimate would not have killed him there, if you think about it. Yeah, I was just not. I was. I overestimated my own damage there. Won't do that again. You kind of gotta just play Garen a lot and know exactly how much damage his ultimate does to different targets. I feel like. This is something you can very easily practice in the practice tool, right? Where you can set different dummies at different amounts of health and then just see how much damage your ultimate does as, at every single threshold, right? I feel like after 15-20 um, minutes of training like that, I could basically get a hang of exactly how much damage his ultimate does, so... I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into practice tool after this. Set up a bunch of dummies, see exactly how and when his ultimate kills, and then just come back in with trained up ultimates because right now i kind of just like wing it around when they have like like a quarter of their health left that's when i ult quarter between a third between a quarter and a third of their health but it has to be more precise than that also we gotta push this out because volibird just roamed mid Good gold. Nice. Three plates. Perfect. Okay, we go back. I'd say the name of the game is just going for trades like that. Back and off, healing, and then going back in again. At this point, we should be able to kill him. Yeah, just dive. Can clear this in seconds. The only way out for him is to just fight me right now. Like, right now. If he doesn't fight me, he's just dead. Yeah, when in this kind of situation, you either. Like, the best option is to leave, but if you're stuck around here, just fight the your laner, okay? Just go in and fight them. Okay. They should be able to kill a Nico, right? Not sure I didn't go on her and just kill her instantly here, but it will. Got our Trinity Force, that's good. I kind of want to go more damage here, but I want to be able to kill the Volibear, so I think Black Cleaver. Bang, bang, bang. Good, let's put the Strawberry under the key that I actually use. Okay. Let's run back into the action. Into top lane. My kingdom. In the top lane. Spam our cues to get there. We're becoming quite meaty. Unfortunately, because of our damage requirements with of Cleaver, the DMP needs to be delayed a bit, but 
I wouldn't mind that too much. Let's get this wave going. Right. Let's move on. Fear not. I'm coming. I'll ward the jungle entrance here and then just try to pillage everything Belleth has in their jungle here. I will not falter. We fight for those who cannot. Anything? Nope. Let's go to the minions then. Flash gone. Our courage must never waver. There we go. Oh, that that's the Nico. Okay. <laughs> I got confused for a second. All right. Okay, bot has gone. Looks like Papa Roku's got to got to do some ADC crunch in this game. Is Nico on my way here, or in my way rather? <coughs> Is she in here? No. Nope. Okay, we'll clear on mid, and then go. I guess we're taking mid turret. I go to the dragon, but this takes priority. Alright. Let's see what's left here. Chillax, bro. I got it. That's one. So Draven around. Let's trap him. Didn't want to ult for that, but we had to. Let's get the bot turret. Alright, let's leave. Get our cleaver. Or get this Draven too. Never mind. Leave, leave. I, I slowed him down for you. I slowed him down for you. Alright. Dude, leave, leave. Please leave. Alright. Okay, Ramos is going in. Whatever. He dies to bleed or the ignite. Okay. Oh, well, that's something. We got 4k in the bank, man. Jesus. We've been out here for like so long. Looks like we gotta be out here even longer. Got ultimate come back up. Don't mind the wind noises. Another kill. I think we recall on the cleaver and the dead man's plate in one go. Oh my god. <laughs> We've been scrapping here for like the last five, six minutes straight, just killing everyone on their team. Everyone on their team has died down here. Okay, now that I'm not here, they are actually gonna get bodied, my team, so uh. I guess it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> uh, okay, um... I'm thinking of going like a, a bit for a bit more tankiness here. But I do want damage. Garen has a decently high amount of base damage, so maybe Sterex might be a good option here. Maybe... I think tank is usually the more standard. 
thing to go though. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We gotta get out of here because we don't have our ultimate. Okay, you wanna you know, scrap alone? Okay. You're gonna catch me, bro! You'll never catch me! I'm too fast for you. Um, is she around? Question mark? Hopefully not. Okay, let's sneak in. We're healing back up anyway, so it's not too much of a risk. Yeah, they're all mid. Let's go. Good. Let's get down here. In the mid lane. I wanted to do it this way so I got the move speed, but that was stupid, I suppose. Nice. Well, that's one kill. They cannot get the Baron anymore. Oh, let's 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 find Cleo. Okay, that's the Void result gone. Let's catch up to him. Let's catch up to my said. That's his flash gone. The cursed villains. Ultimate should be a backup soon. Be a backup. Hey, let's not go in here. Oh. Okay, he got caught. Okay. I got caught actually, he's dying for me. Let's sleep. Ah, oh, man, he died because of me here. Oh, the, the, the Nico did not die? Okay. The Draven is getting really huge. Like, I, and the Nico got my bounty, so it's not that big of a deal, but the Draven is getting to be a bit of a problem. So, I hope. He dies here? Question mark? Nice. Okay. Man, we are super huge here. Can we, like, even go for something like this? This Phantom Dancer? Yeah. I really do want to do as much damage as possible to just destroy these people. Because, look, I love how in Garen, you get magic resist and, like, just resistances. Like, um, you know. You basically get resistances by default. So you don't have to go full tank just to be durable. You're durable by just farming and playing the game. So that basically lets you get away with more damage than a champion like him usually would be able to. Okay, see that. I'll take care of it soon, I suppose. Our deeds shape the future. Gotta get done with this video. Let's see what we can catch in this jungle here. Hello, Grump. That's a lot of damage off of one E. We can now go get our like I know we just recalled for nothing basically, but let's just go get our friend answer. Bang. Once we get it activated, we should be even faster, go through minions, get the extra attack speed. Charge! Very powerful item. It's not as good as old Mortal Reminder, mind you, but it's pretty good. Old Mortal Reminder was so perfect for Garen. Just give him all the stats he needed. Okay, let's get in here, let's get in here. Sorry I wasn't here in time, bro. This world needs hope. We can't just do the Baron here. Come on, MF. Let's see this. Can we not get caught here? I can try to use it to like a beta fight. Good. Let's get the Draven. Two. 
They're not doing the Baron? Come on, man. What have I been doing this for? Okay, let's stay in the game then. Good. I doubt they have anyone who can stop us. We should be able to just effectively take out the Bully Bear. Rough early, but that's just how Garen is. Rough early, and then you scale to be a monster. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back to our gameplay. Um, our team is currently getting bodied here in some invade by the enemy team. But yeah, we're up against set top. The rank of this match is still in silver. And yeah, Garen set matchup. This is not really too difficult of a matchup for Garen because of our Q. Basically speaking, when you fight the set, your Q can silence him, and doing the silence, you can just run out of it, like his range, so he can't really pull you back in. So we want to basically just abuse this over and over again to poke him down, and eventually just kill him, right? We do not want to go for short trades, but... I mean, we don't want to go for long trades, I mean, we, we only want to go for short trades. But our Q basically facilitates that, so that's what I'm going for this match. Up. <coughs> Let's run into the lane here. Set also has another healing passive like Garen. His is better earlier on, but once we hit our level 6, level 9, etc., our passive is just way better than his. By the way, you almost always want bone plating against Set. He doesn't have a lot of range, so it's just like free damage against him. See, we Q him and then we walk away, so he can't actually um, pull us back in. Also, this guy went longsword. So, um. Yeah. Okay. He ran away from that one. Go check one of his pots, that's good. Getting back before I can eat. Our CSing is looking terrible here. That's another one of those pots gone. Not good. But he is now low and he does not have his... Uh... There we go. He doesn't have his W, which left him wide open for that. Okay, let's see the wave like this, and recall. <clears throat> that's his flash gone, that's his TP gone. We're pretty even then. Let's pick up our Zerga Greaves. Now, despite the fact that we're going for the regular um, attack speed Garam build, we most certainly are going to max our Q, okay? This is our bread and butter. As you guys saw, because it was just one second, he actually was able to catch up to us. That's what we do not want. With a 1.6 like second long moose speed duration, we could just like quickly hit him with it and then get out. Okay, that is what we want. So we want Q to be as long as possible, the moose speed portion anyway. We fight for those who cannot. W doesn't really too, do too much against the set. He has a lot of constant damage. I guess it's good to use it before he pulls you in to like reduce the stun duration and then um, his Q combo, I guess, because sec was like E. Auto, auto, QQ. Sometimes he has to use Q to catch up to you, so he uses it with his E. We should be able to kill him with the J for him. Tragedy. Anyway, let's get back into the base, pick up our Zerker's Greaves, and then build some AD for Strybreaker. Bang. Eh, let's just go for the, one, the dagger then. In the king's name. Run back in. Yeah, that's a lot of move speed. On like the positive end of max and key, we get to run them out faster earlier on, but on the negative side, we don't get as much damage that we would from just maxing our E first. 
So we're a bit worse at long trades, long all-ins, but we are expertly good at short trades. With three points, we should definitely have the moon speed to just um, queue them in and run out of everything. I should have freeze this. Oh, we got to get better at chasing this Garen. I know it's not even that complicated, but for some reason, I'm just not uh, getting it down to perfection. All right, got our ultimate now. That's his W gone. Though I doubt it matters, he's not gonna walk up. Oh, I'm just warding here, bro. Okay. Yeah, I should not have used my ultimate there. The trade was good enough as is. This trade was good enough as this why the waste my ultimate. That was just a kill that I threw away. Garen's ultimate is so powerful and just wasting like that is such a like a travesty. We'll use both as pots, so at least that's at least that's good. Be bold. Be just. What's that minion block? Garen just ran around the minion. Okay. Yeah. Did that even hit us? No. Minion block is definitely a thing you gotta deal with as Garen. Especially when they're standing in a wall like that. He's gonna wanna go for this. I'm gonna stop him. Now, you guys have to pay attention to what I did there. So, when I eat, I walked in front of him, but that was a mistake. The second the silence ran out, I just ran behind him because I realized my mistake. But basically, if I kept going behind him, he would have just ultimate behind his turret and then killed him like that, okay? A lot of champions, like Singed, for example, or like Tom Kench in some instances, the ones that can displace you behind them, you do not want to, like, um, play around here against them. Like, you know... Like, you want to basically keep into consideration where they can move you as you run them down. So let's say we're playing it against a Singed, right? If we're fighting a Singed, he's here. We never want to be, like, to the left of him because he can just flip us back. We want to be either under him or above him or even to the right of him, okay? Because if we're around this area, he can always just flip us back. Now, so I go opposite depending on the location of circumstance. Let's say you're around here. If you are, like, um, on the right side of the Singed, he can flip you back, so your all-in will just be over because he flipped you back towards your turret. So if you want to chase him, but he's not under his turret and he can't flip you under it, you only want to just stand to the left of him in relation to where his exit is. Because if he flips you, he'll flip you towards where he wants to go. So he's just cutting off his own exit if he flips you, okay? So against these kind of champions, you always have to be aware of how they can move you. And set is no exception. Yeah, we should have just gone instantly. I'm gonna freeze. Just cut damage a bit. Doesn't really matter though. <laughs> that was a waste of W, but um, nothing's gonna happen right now anyway. Good. Let's ward up. Forge onward. Just a light little freeze here. No, nothing exciting. We're tending to our wave here. Not letting him do anything. He can't walk up, he can't do anything. J4 has his wall, so he should be able to just trap the set. He's not even in XP range. Okay. Yeah, I guess. The, like, when you're getting frozen out, you should at least stay in XP range. Like, around here. Because that's also outside of my range, too, right? 
whatever. I guess it was like the that was worded. I will not By the way, okay, for those of you who don't know how big the experience is, go to interface and then enable the experience thing here. If you look at my screen, I get the experience numbers up every time I kill a minion. You basically want to enable that's like the option there. And if you enable that, you'll organically learn how big the minion range is. See, we queued, did all this damage, and he can't really um bite back. He cleared the mini wave so quickly. I wanted to go back in again, but all right. We fight for those who cannot. Let's keep on shoving, and then we'll get our strike breaker. Okay, we're almost gonna get double his CS, which is fun. Try to block some of it. I mean, we did, but some of the damage still got through. Because two damage can't be reduced, right? Okay. So what we can do here. There's nothing you can do, right? Unless he predicts my Q and use me, there's nothing you can do. I was gonna kill him again. Yeah, uh, all right. This is a mistake I see often in many low rank players, but it's not better for him to just stay and die here. If you're like, just like analyze the situation, put yourself in the place of the set. This Garen can trade against you and kill you under turn. Okay, what do you want to do, bro? Okay, she does a lot there. Divine Sunderer! Okay, we gotta leave, we gotta leave, we gotta leave. Oh, man, that was good from him. But yeah, Divine Sunderer is a balanced item. She beat me from four levels down? Ah! Ah! I don't like that! I don't like that! I hate that. Alright, whatever. Um, happens. Anyway, um, put yourself in the place of the set. Garen just can come under turret and Q you to basically just outtrade you, okay? You have multiple ways of approaching the situation. Number one, try to find some way to counterplay it. The counterplay here for him will be to E me before I land my Q. Now, that's not exactly good counterplay because what would basically happen is that he E's me and I'll still get my Q off, right? And because he's like, like, we're not fighting at that point, he wouldn't get a lot of W damage off of me either if he just straight W'd me, okay? The second option is to just sit behind enough so that I can't run out of the turret completely. The last option, right? And this is what you do when you're about to die, like the last ride, like the last time I went, actually went for that and killed him. And the last option is to just leave, okay? Leaving is better than dying. Don't ego, don't go for it. This is a mistake that I make often, even in my main account matches, right? I just leave, I, mean, I just stay, I wanna fight. But that's not, that's not what you wanna do. I know it's more fun to just fight, stay and fight and win, but again, winning is not always fun. Hey, we got our turret here. Let's push this battle way up. He's got Bork, finally. Okay. Let's see if we can find the Vi here. We're just heisting here. Nice. By the way, I did go into practice still and practice my ult damage on Garen, so <laughs> I have them pretty tight as to like when you can ult people to kill them exactly. It took me like five, ten minutes of training, by the way. So 
Like these kind of things, knowing them is so important. It's just worth it to go into practice tool and just train them for seconds. It doesn't take that long. The only thing you need to do is just go into practice tool and do it. Like set up a bunch of dummies, set them at different healths, like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, and then just like try the ultimate at every single rank on every single one of them. <coughs> Don't know why I crunched up there, but okay. Let's see if I can get the Senna here. Okay, Vi's here. I mean, I could kill her with my ultimate, but the Divine Center makes that a bit tough to do, so. Let's just go back and get our Phantom Dancer. It's the safest thing to do. After Phantom Dancer, we're gonna go for a Navori's Quick Blade. <laughs> Let's have some fun, huh? Let's have some fun. Our deeds take the future. Yeah, the extra move speed duration is really helpful. Three entire seconds now. That's huge. Let's just uh, run at the Sandy. Okay. We push mid instead. Okay, nothing. Let's go top. Nothing here. They're gonna fight. Kind of want to help the team if they get into an engagement. Okay, let's get in here. Okay. We gotta hurry up. We gotta hurry up. Okay. Nice. Dude, I was setting that up so hard for the J4. <laughs> like, that was so perfect for him. And he, and he waited to do the Gromp instead of just going in and getting the double kill. I am very disappointed in you, brother. Very. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no. Don't want none of that. Do not want none of that. There's a heal up. Once I heal up, I should have like the health to just blitz through her. Just QE, stride, ignite, and then she should be dead. Man, Fem Dancer makes split pushing a lot more strong because you just killed her so quickly. Let's see if we can get them to get on me here. Never mind. Let's go mid. Help the Vi Gar. Guess not. Go, go, go. Come on, man. Never forget why we fight. We got caught here? Okay, let's get in, let's get in, let's get in. Okay, let's just leave then. Let's just leave this leave. Ah! That was unfortunate. They both flashed from me. Indeed. Okay, we get a pickaxe at least. I should just let them die. It was a 1v5 situation. So going in was completely insane. Garen is notoriously not the best at those. He's not like a... Like, Garen could get a lot of work done if he's super, super fed, which I am, but... It's like, it's not as good as like a Darius. It's not as good as like, uh, you know, an Aatrox. Or like, like even a Jax in some cases, okay? Garen has very low range. And like, he doesn't have good mid-fight mobility. He has great mobility around the map and in long stretched out fights. But in a team fight, his mobility doesn't really matter all that much. Like, aside from just the beginning of it, okay? So like, oh, I forgot to buy my pickaxe. So yeah, um... The thing that's Garen's specialty is single target burst. He can take out one person guaranteed, and if he's fed enough, he can take out a multiple, like a few more people. But he's never gonna kill like everyone in a situation. He's gonna kill one, two people, and then do a lot of damage with his E to the other people, right? Because it's like his E can kind of act as DPS if he has some setup already. So yeah, um, definitely not like let that's like the whole jack of trades thing, the jack of all trades, right? Like he's not the best at team fighting. 
but he can get a lot of work done, okay? That's just one of those type B things. Let's try to run up here and kill the Annie. And he's set. Man, we are too squishy here. I am way too squishy to be playing like this. Yeah, I should just play my team, man. Why am I in thing alone? <sighs> That's what I get for playing for fun. Yep. I'm going to go for a sweeper and just go for um, vision difference fights. Basically speaking, I'm going to go into an area, clear it of all vision, and then once we see someone fighting, I'll just walk behind them and kill them instantly and then leave. Right, guerrilla tactics. Well, in Garen's case, it would Gorilla Tactics, but <laughs> you guys get the idea. <clears throat> so I'm down here. Be bold. Be just. You cannot cast that right now. Um, we should try to push together. Split pushing. I'll split while they get stuff done around here, hopefully. Sure, why I said split like split pushing. Ah, oh, that sucked. We should be able to kill both of them though. Good. Get this, get this. We didn't do the whole 1v9 thing here this match, but that was mostly because I kind of just went rogue and tried to kill everyone rather than just playing for what was like what was for the good of the team, right? Which is the utmost priority. Play to win the game, play for the good of the team. So, we played it brilliantly earlier on, right? We got everyone ahead. We tried to help everyone as much as we could. We didn't help this guy that much, but we did, still did well. But, um, yeah. If we performed the delayer portions of the game, too, we would have done even better. Anyway, I'll see you guys in gold. Peace out. Alright, we're back with some more content. This match is in gold. We're up against Riven Top. Riven is known as one of Garen's, like, quote-unquote, easy matchups. Now, this only applies in lower ranks. In high elo, a good Riven can actually put up a decent fight, but around here, we should have a pretty decent time. This is one of the matches where I'm going to be going for face rush. Now, I'm not too sure how necessary it truly is, because again, I'm just picking up this champion as quickly as I can, but from uh, what I can kind of gather, this is a lane where I can go in, get a good amount of damage done, and just run out with face rush. And if I can't do that over and over again, I should be able to quickly put it down with my Ignite. And the best part about the face rush is that I can basically just keep up with her as she tries to get away, okay? Now, if the Riven's good, she should be able to use her W to stop me from getting my silence off, right? Or stop, or like, like prevent it, I guess. Garen has a pretty high auto range. Like, he should basically stop me from moving after I got my stun off, okay? Don't make me tank it, bro. All right, that's all you're going to get. Okay, let's get back to top. Usually Q is the better option, but I should be able to get off some stacks of E with Phase Rush. By stacks, I mean like the, the, the ticks have damage on it. Okay. The damage. Hello, scoundrel. Time for you to pay. My assessing is still terrible on Garen, as you guys can see. Okay. Quite a good trade there. Q and one took a damage from the E. Though I was pushing into us, so I kind of want to keep it this way.
There we go. Face rush, baby. He should not have gone in on us there. Oh my god. I hit the minion. That would have been a kill potentially, too. Hmm. Got yeah, Udir. So should be a bit careful. There we go. Okay. Udir is gone. He's bot side. I'll ping it for the team there. <coughs> Should have blocked that actually. Didn't succeed. We're kind of hemorrhaging CS here, so I ought to just let her push in and then try to kill her on the pushback. Gas Q can't be stopped, so. If you predict her to, or your enemy to CC, you can just use it preemptively. What we do is right. Yeah, it is. Okay. I get the cannon, unfortunately. We are not doing too well, are we? So we can get our level six and then just put it down quickly. Because we're kind of just getting out traded over and over again. Let's wait for the health to take back. Any plants around? We just bought plane. This just spawns, so it'll grow in a few seconds, or minutes rather. Gotta time my W with her damage. She lives through that, right? <sighs> yeah, she does. Decent attempt, I guess. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't expect that. I thought she had already left. Ugh. Yeah, I played myself. Anyway, let's just go back into the lane. Tried, but her ease were too much to burst through. All good. The best part about Garen is that even if you die a few times, or like once or twice, you're still in the game. Your ult's great, your entire gameplay is great, and you just spike up at like level 9 specifically, because your passive actually starts to heal an amount that's acceptable, that's noticeable. And it basically just carries your entire laning phase. So even if you take like the worst traits possible, you can just chill for like 10, 20 seconds and just get back higher HP than your enemy. I just hope we get there soon enough because if we do not, this is gonna get out of the hand. Balling is losing a lot of kills thus far, which is not good. Okay, let's go for this freeze here. Vile Scourge. Okay. Let's go Ravenous. Okay. Ready. 
Pretty good trade. Oh, we lose this freeze. Though. Yeah, it was that trade was not worth the, the the loss of the freeze. There we go. You gotta love face rush against Riven. <laughs> Up. Get this crashed into the turret. I'm trying to clump the minis up with my uh by aggroing them. Try to get the candle my E there. Oof. Note to self, do not ever last hit cannons with E. It's not easy to do. Q or R attacks are just better. Bang. I've noted that to myself and I will be following it or attempting to for the rest of the series. <laughs> Well, I say series, just the rest of the video, but the video, I guess, is a series of matches, so it kind of makes sense, you know? <clears throat> Our must never waver. All right. Let's hold this wave, freeze it again. All right. She's back in lane. That uh, replicated damage that's being done to my minions. Okay. We have 580, boys. GG. Yeah, that last bottom row of the uh, sorcery tree, it's like, you know, which one's the least useless? Like, none of it's actually that good for Garen. Oof. Perhaps I should have ranked Q first. I think ranking Q first makes a lot more sense. Because the increased amount of move speed duration would let me catch up to her way more often. Right? Like, the E damage is nice and all, but I think landing the Q is the most important part. And it's also the reason why I just messed up the lane there, I think. Well, I messed up the lane because I held the wave under her turret, essentially. And I also basically just played into her trading. Let's shut this wave in. Just stick around here. Get the plate. Let's see here. Get the wave in initial position. Should just go for the Q there. Then I can activate the phase rush with auto attack E. Yeah. I keep going for auto Q E. But I guess it's better to go for just the Q as she stuns me and then auto E. And I could just chase up with her with face rush. Yeah, that's better. This world and we just got a resistances. Bam. We are beefed up. That's a flash gone. Go, and we run out. Good that we've one lane handily now. Let's just wail on this turret here until we get our strike breaker. Maybe Rengar wants to get a kill here. Okay. 
We're using Herald. Oh, we should have just waited for the like the ribbon to get here, then we could kill her again. Not gonna lie, I didn't hit the turret on purpose so that he the Rengar would only get like one player of turret gold. Dude, stay in the jungle. Oh no. He pulled through. Good job. Let's get this to like 2.5k. Or at least the Udu shows up. Until the Udu shows up. Okay, let us recall. We have 3.5k gold, which is huge. Not enough for a dead man's plate, obviously. But it's enough for Starbreaker and then the Winged Moon plate. I need DMP as soon as possible this match. There's just no other way of putting it. Without the move speed, I can't have control of this match, and I need control to steer the tier team in the correct direction. Okay. Let's see what I can do with bot lane here. I hope we have enough follow-up to kill the Kai'Sa. Oh, we just pushed into their turret. Oh, that's awesome. Guys! Nice. Come on. Slow him down. Uh. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, the Udyr just wiped us all out. Man. I was kind of expecting a bit more peel from them. Right, because the Lux has a lot of high range CC slows and stuff, but it's my bad for expecting it. Anyway. Let's just get up, like, back up top, and then wait, we'll clear this wave out. The next big target that I have to save my ultimate for, essentially, is the Udyr now. The next ult ignite has your name on it, pal. We'll see what you're made of then. Charge! I bring justice. Okay, let's get the next wave as well. Let's see if we can get jungle camps. We'll do his bot side. Nice. Kaisa kill. Oh, she knew. Okay, we got the dragon, that's pretty good. Let's push this turret, I mean push this wave into the enemy turret. And the next one, obviously. Recall, get our demas plate. Okay, with DMP we should be running around the map a lot better. I think I've, I'm gonna go Cleaver next. So we can chop through the UD even faster. Let's get down here to the bot side of the map, and then kill you there. Or the Kai'Sa. I don't discriminate. Should've done that sooner. Come on. One route, one route. Or not. Let's go mid. 
Oh, with you, still killable here. He's got 500 bounty too. Okay. Let's kill the Sindra now. I messed that combo up, but it was functionally just how it was supposed to be. Nice. Got two. Hope. Okay, we didn't stop the Riven split push. That sucks. Can get this. Messing my Q here. Let's go bot lane. I should be able to kill her with the Rengar. Rengar? This world needs hope. Okay, let's go, let's go. They got her, they got her, they got her, perfect. We just had to change the aggro of my jungler. <laughs> we had to re we I had to select my jungler and then right click the enemy Kaisa. Off to work. Should kill her again. You can't catch me, boy. Got a lot of gold here. Playing on farming even more. Get cleaver. And get out. More ID. Don't mind if I do. Can Jin get that? Yes, he can. Let's see if we can kill this um, ribbon. Or at least plan to play on this Udyr. Nice. Perfect. Help me. Thank you. Good. Let's leave. Recall. Recall. That's what you get. Okay, we've got a bunch of gold here. We can get our cleaver. I think we need a force nature here as well. I guess Syndra. But I just need the magic resist like right now. So it's gonna go for no mantle. Then I'm thinking Sterax into Force of Nature, then we should be good to go for the rest of the match. I don't know why I'm going such a, like, <laughs> so try-hard mode, right? So, if the change in the style of commentary is a bit jarring, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of trying to take this game seriously. <laughs> so that we do not lose, despite our bot laners playing a little subpar early. But it's fine, boys. I can drag you through this one. It's quite liberating to play a champion that can just move around the map a lot. You can actually carry the team. Can't really do that on Darius. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay. You can catch me. I know what I'm doing, bro. Okay, let's go for the flank here. My target is the Kaisa. Okay. okay let's get the rest. You, you, go. I'll go around about clear the enemy jungle. There's sinners there. Oh, she has. Ah, okay. Nice item. Okay. 
Got it, we got it, we got it. I'll just get in here and finish this off. Good. Alright, at this point, I'm not going to be able to do the run on the map, kill everyone thing as well. Because the enemy team is starting to scale up, right? But I think we've put our team ahead and out to the point where they should be able to do the baseline minimum. And then on top of my work in the team fights and stuff, that should just be enough to win completely. So yeah. Okay, ring I shouldn't die here. Let's just run up and help. Or attempt to. Okay. Er Oh, I tried. Um, oh, they both live? Whatever. I was dying with the... Like, thinking that my team would be able to pick those two kills up, but... They got let them get away. That's fine, though. Um, don't die to her, please. Alright. One of these two should have taken the aggro, but it's fine. I'm pretty sure that with yours just one Jin fourth out of him death. Doesn't matter. Okay. Get back. We're doing good. He has an ultimate soon. Alright. I have to play a bit differently. I kind of play these fights like Darius. If you guys notice. Like I just go in and fight to keep going with the team. But I have to play them like Garen. Right? In that, like... I'm only going for a one to two targets, get him out, then going back in, right? I'm only staying in the fight if I know for sure that my team's going to win it, right? Which I thought was true here, but I obviously miscalculated and gave my bounty to the Kaisai, I believe. Yes, which is not good. Okay. Did she catch him? No? Okay, that's fine. The Rengar is going too too far here. Let's help, let's help, let's help. Alright, it's fine. I should have just ulted, but she has her seraphs, right, doesn't she? Vegar. Bro. Yeah, this is a bit of a tough uh, siege. There, I got the ribbon. Perfect. Okay, I'll go help Rengar over here. Good. We cracked mid open. Go for the go for the Kaiser. Four. Let's get this. Range champions, range champions, one more auto attack. Okay, no, no lead, no lead. The invisibility. I should have just. I was trying to make the way for them to leave, but I should have just been selfish there. That's a 100% moment where I should have been selfish. Alright. Let's get the dragon. How many dragons we got? Two. Okay. Dragon. Then we'll push out top. Almost, almost, almost. He almost got him. That W lands, or maybe he gets a little bit better spacing. Rengar should be able to kill him, though. Or someone, at least. Whatever, we just give it up. We just give it up. So it's quite tough. They definitely have a lot of damage on their team. Especially with the... Like, a lot of group backline damage in the form of the Kaisa. And the Yumi, the amazing version of Yumi that Riot um, reworked, makes her pretty tough to put down as well. 
So, yeah. I mean, if I could just get on top of her, I can very much just one combo her. Or at least try to. But it doesn't seem like... Like, I guess the Yumi, I don't think I can... Maybe I, I guess the Yumi, I don't think I can one combo her. But still, I should be able to like t almost kill her. So any attack from any of my teammates should be enough to just finish the job. Okay. Do not die here. Good. Okay. I think we just went here. Good job. Alright, the end of the game was done by my team, not me, so great job to them. We did a lot of carrying, but they were the ones who put the enemy team down in the end. The guys who actually weren't playing that well, they finally pulled through, so good job to them. And the enemy team surrenders. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Okay, we're up against Mordekaiser top again. This is in gold. I am now running the correct page to hopefully deal with him, quote unquote. It's not going to be easy, but we'll just have to see what we can do. What guys is one of the matches that Garen does not like um, facing. It's kind of like the Darius matchup, right, in terms of difficulty levels. So, yeah, there you have it. We'll just have to try to play around him as best we can, instead of trying to face him and kill him, unless he ints us in lane earlier on. Anyway, um, the page we're running is this, um, full sorcery. We're also running um, second wind and demolish in case we get to a turret so that we can kill it quickly. And yeah, stat-wise, we just got double AD and magic resist, the classic. In any case, the way we play this matchup is just trying to avoid his abilities. If he lands them on us, then it's quite tough to actually kill him. If he misses his hook specifically, then we can go in for our Q, auto, E, and then run out with face rush. Or at the very least, get our um, E stacks going on him and then run out. Good, we got his um, bone playing out. Gotta match his auto attacks here. He got a lot of damage off on the wave with his uh, Q. Okay. We're kind of out training so far with just our Qs, but the lane will turn around soon enough. Yeah, Q does a bunch of damage all one. It's better than going for the E cheese. Okay, let's ward this for the cane. I mean, let's ping it so he knows that there's a ward. Let's <coughs> go on. We should be winning this now. Okay, they both got away. That sucks. No one got kills in that situation. Surprising, but, you know, not really anything huge. Okay. Gonna be very careful with my abilities here, so we can successfully um, farm one by one, one by one. I think I need the Q move speed more than I do my E damage. Like I doubt I'll be able to kill this guy. Hoping we can get the last Q off on me. Good, that pushed the wave in to us. Don't 
tanking you to that. Okay. That's both his sons gone, and we live. Almost certainly take that. Let's heal up a bit, and then see if we can cheese kill him. We're a bit, like, ahead of him XP-wise, so we might be able to, like, kill him with our ultimate, but we'll see. Okay. I will not falter. Where is he? Let's try to recall this bush. If he walks up, we go for it. If not, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's get some magic resist here. Let me run in. It'll definitely be a challenge surviving in his ultimate. But I'm pretty sure our phaser should help us greatly. And also we're maxing our Q. So our mobility will be great. Like, we're just kind of playing to survive. If I maybe, like, max my E, maybe we could have killed him in one of these fights. But I'd rather just not risk it, you know? In a matchup that we're not strong in. Okay, I see the auto here. Oh, unfortunate. He got his ultimate just in time. I thought I could maybe cheese him there, get him off the wave. But yeah, too bad. Okay, let's get back to the lane. This is just, you know, par for the course for Garen. He loses a lot of matchups earlier on. You basically just have to survive. And at some point, players play it well enough to the point where it can't just, like, brute force, skill difference, get kills. So I have to play it like, like an actual Garen player. Let's push up. I will not falter. Forward, I will fight as long as I stand. Break the ranks. Let's try to play with uh, Lissandra here. She should be able to set up a lot of kills for me. All right, I'll just walk behind the turret and then old killer. There we go. Good. Nice. Well played by the Lissandra. I'll help you. Okay, let's get back top. Good. Should be a good partner for a lot of kills mid lane. What? Okay, that's how it works. Um, fine enough. We do 
Despite dodging his key, we still out penetrated. That's not a good feeling. This game to kill this. Or okay. I'm basically making permanently shove this wave in. But I have to not get hit by his hook though. Because then it'll just kill us. He chased us down and killed us. Such an annoying lane. I'm just gonna get QSS and avoid fighting him. Or well, just avoid his ultimate, basically. <sighs> Garen Gaming. I'm not gonna lie, I don't much like playing Garen in lower ranks. Mostly because, like, like Garen is not a very like a very skilled champion. There's not a lot of outplaying you can do. What you do on Garen is what you get. So the best you can do on Garen is just dodge abilities. That's it. You know, there's no way you're gonna use your combos a different way. There's no way you can actually like, juggle your abilities a different way. It's always the same. This basically leads to situations where like, you know, you're so one dimensional that everybody can predict you. I'll try to just um, see if we can cheese some fight here. There we go. Taste my justice, bro. But as I was saying, you can't do a lot of outplaying in Garen. You can do a lot of outplaying on like Fiora, on Darius, on Riven. Like these kind of complicated champions. So if you learn these champions very well, you can basically kill people in bad matchups, even like you know, in like the worst matchups, by just being better than them, right? Like in lower ranks, you can actually kill Vayne as Darius. And a lot of players from lower ranks as Darius are telling me, "Oh, you know, I don't have a lot of problems with the Vayne matchup," because you know, range top players are quite tough to play in lower ranks, you know. But you know, that's just how it is. The more complicated champions give you the reward of, hey, you can basically just outplay your way through many situations. Whereas the more simple champions, though you'll learn them to their maximum effectiveness sooner, you won't really be able to outplay situations that you would have lost anyway, right? So it's a bit of a trade-off. In my opinion, if you kind of just are in a matchup or a situation where you could just survive the early lane as Garen, and we've basically survived by now, right? We've, we're just, we've made it essentially. We've got the QSS, we even killed them once. We've made it. If you can guarantee your um, survival of the early as Garen, then you want to pick Garen and play him. But if not, then you're going to be in trouble by picking him. It's not the best idea to do so. That, was, that slow was insane. Where my face rush go? Oh well. Let's heal up and then try to kill him with our ultimate. We're at that point where our trading doesn't need to be that clean anymore. Okay. I'm gonna go mid here. Follow up on the Sanders play. Like, if you move as a top laner, Lissandra is such a good partner to just work with. Alright. Nice.
that sucks. The way he kited it, he kind of got surrounded, but it's not like there was another way for him to go. He wasn't aware of where we were to kite towards us from the death realm. We can have it. There we go. Let's get top. Can I cheese the elf in here? Might be able to catch her. Nice. Kills a kill. Does does Garen Q lunge? No, no. Lunge is basically like a dash, but like like a small dash. So if you're like if Garen's Q lunged him at the target he was auto like Ilawi's W, for example, is a lunge. You know, it's basically a dash with an auto attack, but it's not like a dash dash, if you get what I'm saying. So I was just thinking about it would be funny if Garen's Q was a lunge and me jumping on it would just, you know, make me fly just above the um, plant and not really where I wanted to go. Nice. Dude, me and her got this game under wrap. We can pack this up to go. Two-man squad, baby. Also, in hindsight, I should have just gone Emax to try to kill the Mordekaiser. I feel like, two, like Q Max is good if the Mordekaiser is, like, decent. But given this match, I should have just gone Emax and, like, flipped the kill on him. Because if I got one kill in laning phase, in the early laning phase, it would have made the entire process much less painful. But, like, it didn't really matter, I guess, because at the end of the day, we survived. And that was the entire point. Like, in high elo, I would just go Q-Max. But because this is low rank, I think um, E-Max would be a little bit better in lane. But in any case, phase rush is definitely a necessity. Okay. Let's crash this bait in. Wave, wave. Okay. Fear is the first of many foes. With Strider, we can actually like activate a Strider kid really quickly. Honestly, this lets me heal up a bit. Nice. Dude, we're just a two-man army at this point. Nice. Let's see what we can cook here. Not yet, honey. We'll see about that. See ya. Not done with you yet. Not by a long shot. Okay. I'm done with you. Um, let's see where we're going here. Well, why does it recommend the Mortal Reminder against Evelyn? What? Is it because of her passive grievance? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This automatic build recommender is so terrible. It's so terrible. Ugh. Let's just recall and spend this money. Okay, 
let's go, I guess, Cleaver. Mm, do you want DMP, though? But then again, we do have a lot of our team's gold. I should go damage to make that worth it. Let's get down here. I'll, I guess, just, like, roam with the Lissandra. I can't get here in time to do anything. But I'll try to, like, roam with her before she gets into these fights to help out. Like, she can set me up so incredibly well that it would be a waste of, like, everything to just not go work with her. Now, they're gonna die here, which sucks, especially since they got a Kale mid. But we could kind of deal with that. Okay, where is big boy? Where do you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? That's a trick, by the way. You can use your Q. Like, if you do auto-auto and start your Q, even if the war goes invisible, you can actually just straight kill it. I should have just ulted early. I should have ignited first. That's fine, we all. Yeah, the ignite would have disabled the heal. I just knew he didn't have heal, so I was like, okay, he's dead. But the misfortune had it. Sadness. You're right about that, Garen. In any case, our ultimate has a pretty low cooldown, so it's not the end of the world. We should be able to get it back soon. Should I go for a flank here? <sighs> Come on. She actually killed the Mordekaiser? Oh my god, that was insane. But man, I didn't get to this fight in time. This sucked. They fought without us. They were in a 3v5, so obviously they were gonna lose. I'll try to babysit them, I guess. I'll try my best to. We also need Demand's Plate earlier. Like, we need it sooner than later. Kinda need Yeshimu Speed to move on the map. Alright, let's move in. Moving in. <coughs> How's this going? Let's try to cut off the Evelyn here. She's gonna go for the list 100%. <clears throat> Alright, let's get The mort here, if he's still staying around here. To protect our okay. Land. We can put a ward right down here. Yep. It's now out of the range of the creature ward, so it doesn't get disabled. Yeah. I say you don't put that in the very edge, you gotta put it in like the center ish area. So that the entire oh, ward indeed. range covers the whole pit. Otherwise, you get cheesed like that. Yo, I, I was out, man. Bro, you're not me. Homie thought she was Garen. Dude, this, this, this dude, it's like the second time he's stolen. Nice. Good job, good job, King. Good job, King. 
That's perfect, but we need the Kai'Sa desperately. Like, ugh. I don't want to be like, um, like a downer here, but this does not seem too winnable. We don't really have like what it takes to win the game at the moment, I'd say, with how fed the misfortune is. Because her being this fed basically holds this game open long enough for the Kale to just 1v9. And we don't really have a good answer to that, so definitely not looking forward to it. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, she's already level 15. This does not bode well. Let's see if I can catch the Evelyn. Leave. Could go with the Mordekaiser. Can face our shock of him. I might be able to do some work by just wasting their time. In here. Still going. Okay. That's good. Good. Nice. Okay. I'm not gonna claim responsibility for a play, but by essentially being a like a stupid waste of time for the enemy team, we stopped them all from being able to react to what we're doing down there. So I think this is definitely a waste of time, you know, a match where we should be looking to waste their time. Not that this match is a waste of time, but a match we where we should be looking to waste the enemy's time. Ah, uh, the ult animation is too long. That's unfortunate. Also, she killed us so quickly there. Okay. Kane lives. All right, oh. Let's get in there. We're just going to have to waste the enemy team's time. Like again, like I've said this multiple times, but this is more so me repeating it for myself than like you guys. Just waste time. Don't let them like, you know, fully converge. Cut them off. Phase rush, run, waste time. Ult somebody. Ult here, ult here. Oh, he sh if he ult here, he could have gone out with his uh, Q. That sucks. Let's run in here. I need a hero. Close. Okay. We can get our ultimate here. Nice. Okay. Drag, drag, drag. Yeah. Let's get her too. Should have just left it. Should have just left it. That's my bad. But we're actually getting around to like winning fights. We lost that dragon, but it's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Just, 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 just leave. Just leave. Just leave. He's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her. Just leave. Just leave. <sighs> Red Kane's here. Don't die now. Good. Not gonna lie. Let's not just low key one v nine. I'm trying my best to facilitate her. Leave, leave. Okay, got our dead man's play finally. That's good. Let's get on force of nature. She's dead. Yeah. She should have just left. She should have just left. Ugh. 1k to Evelyn is not good, man. 
Let's see what the king can do here. Not much, I'm guessing. We got our flash, so maybe we can get away with like a cheese kill somewhere. Let's just be on the lookout for it. Misfortune, perhaps. Let's not get spotted. They know we're here. Or I am here. I suppose. Dude, is it literally everywhere warded? Ah. How many wards do they have in the area? I will fight as long as I stand. Okay. Let's run in here. The sun is gonna reach there by the time we get there too. So we can work together. Oh no, that sucks. We split push here. Yeah, I think so. I'll split. Gonna get someone to get over here. Don't fight, don't fight. And we leave. They actually wiped them out there. Oh my god. Good job, boys. Good job, good job. Wow, great work, boys. Is this the my arc where I learn how to work with my teammates? Like 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 Jiren at the end of Dragon Ball Super. The power of Universe 11 is teamwork. Or is it US 7? I don't know, man. But yeah, great work from the team. That might have just been it. That might have won us the game. Good. We did a great job of the split through here. We opened up bot lane, so it should be a pretty simple siege mid. I'm gonna go back, get my um, magic resist, so we're more so ready for the fight. I'll also pick up a, um, what's his face? Uh, I think, I think Ryan is better. More tenacity, more moves to the people behind me. Makes it a bit more difficult to like, um, kill us. Let's see stacks with this, right? Let's see how much it stacks. <sighs> That's an insane amount of tenacity. <laughs> Does it just add like that? That doesn't happen with anything else. Okay. Let's jump on the other one here. Okay. Guess more we'll have to do. What we do is here, are they okay here? They're fighting. I gotta stay here and put the more down. Good. That's one kill. Let's push up. Let's push up. We can't let the Lissandra take all the pressure like this. She'll die. Go, 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 go. Get an end. Get an end. Nice split. GG. Nice is done, Lissandra. Nice is done, Kane. Good job, Leona. We did a great job, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. Let's get this one. Peace out. All right, everybody. We're back with some more gear and gameplay. We are playing in Platinum, and we're up against Mordekaiser Top again. I am not too sure why everyone is picking Mordekaiser today, but it seems to be a very popular champion in the lower ranks. And because I'm first picking Garen, he is known as a great counter to Garen. As for our setup, I'm going to go for an Emax setup because I've learned from my previous matches. And I'm packing Phase Rush so that I can go in and out with my trades. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, it might be York top, which is why I've actually gotten no resistance. I just got the HP, but we'll have to see, right? Let's we'll see who is facing us. Let's see here, York mid. Okay. Um, Zig's better uh, save his charge to get away from York's cage every time that he can. We gotta basically spam it with those Qs as much as we can. Don't wanna 
get any auto attacks in addition to a Q, because then we'll start losing the trade. Okay. Let's chill. Let our Doran's shield tick in. And our passive to pick it up where it left off. It's gonna be tough to CS everything here. Okay, we got everything, but we had to lose a bunch of health for it, which is not good. It's the Mordecai's really though. Not much really that we can do about it. What's the hacker wants to join this? Join the fun. I'll drink my pot so I have the health to fight him with the hacker. I don't mind Hecarim taking the kill. I'm not that useful early anyway. Alright, let's push this baby in. Okay. Let's recall. We didn't get any of the melees at the end there, but it's not too big of a deal. Okay. Boots and let's go for no mantle here for the early QSS so that we have to so that we don't have to deal with this ultimate essentially. Okay, let's run back into the lane. Man, Gans got such like thick feet. Like what is this? There's no way like his boots are so massive, man. <laughs> and his head's so tiny compared to it. Looks kind of cartoonish. Fantasy armor is so funny, isn't it? And cool, but still. I did that just for the cannon, by the way. To get it with my spin. And we got a great trade off of it as well. Good. Oh, that lands on us? Okay. Okay, well, it's as soon as you can cancel the E. I need to learn that timing so I don't waste time mashing my E. Little game of chicken here. He's got his ultimate. Oh, I don't know why he didn't insta ult me there. But I guess he's merciful. Or maybe he didn't even realize it. It took him time to click on the level up. In any case, we're out. And bot lane died again. Pain. Um, it's gonna be a little dangerous. Okay. If I was the Mord, I would have just taken the fight and killed one of us. <laughs> but that's me. Okay. 
He should ult behind him. He should ult behind him. That would fear the more didn't me, and then I could silence him. That's fine. We're kind of running circles around this guy. Especially with Phase Rush, now that I know how to properly use it. Hecarim should probably help out bot lane. Just a, a hunch. This is flash gone. I'll take it. One more tick, and he's down. Bang! Nice. I wasted my E here. I should have used it in the middle of this wave, but it doesn't matter. Let's hit these melees here. Butter them up. Nice. Got a lot of farm going. We're quite powerful. I am liking it. Okay. We finish our QSS here, and then we can go for Berserker Degrees. Nice. Then, you know, Strawbreaker, etc. The whole nine yards. <coughs> Hecarim is quite fit, so that's good. Though I'm pretty sure Mord can actually take care of him. So yeah. Our objective here is to dominate this lane and then get into a position where we can just run around and carry the map. Because otherwise it's going to be quite tough for us to deal with the uh, Fed Jinx as Karen. I might be able to jump on her and kill her instantly. But aside from that kind of situation, um, kind of helpless to just get kited by her. Happy about that, bro. Well, we just used up his ultimate, so... Hakim can just come in here for a free kill, if he wants. But it's quite tough to communicate that without chat, isn't it? In any case, I should be able to kill him on my own anyway. Let's just keep going for these fan trades. We're actually hitting back. Nice. They're level 9. Our healing should go to the moon now. Let's heal up a bit more, and then we should be able to kill him one combo with Ignite. God, I can't get hit by those max range abilities. Okay. We're almost there. He'll have his ult back up though, no? Bang. We've smited the evil Mordekaiser back into death. I don't know why, but I feel like a a medieval paladin as when I play Garen. I know. <laughs> nice. Okay. We got the kill on the bozo. Now we can recall. Um I think Strabrick is just the go-to. Let's get Iron Spike Whip, so we can actually proc um, Phase Rush in one go, right? Strabricker makes it so much better to just proc Phase Rush, because you can just QE Strabricker and proc it instead of just having one, that, one more auto attack in there. And the team just pulled it back, nice. Hecarim, good job. Good jungle. Good jungle. Now let's go in, 
bait his ultimate with our um, QSS and then just do the whole thing over again. How's this going? Is York about to go goblin mode? Nope. Should have backed off with Q. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's get this bad boy. What are you trying to do, bro? What are you trying to get into? Love to see it, don't you, buddy? Now, he, he still keeps our stats, by the way. But we're not in the cage, so we can just run away from him. Yeah, we've all but nullified his landing. We can just take stupid trees over and over again and then just kill him. See around? Doubt it. Let's shit. Let's um, push up. That was close. That was really close. I, I could have just flashed his Q, mind you. I don't know why I didn't do that. I just wanted to see the limits of my power while being righteous. Okay, let's get some place here while they're about to drop off. On. Nice. Cool. Let's get the wave as well. And we leave. Nice. We don't have Shepherd just yet, so I'll go for that. This uh, camp here. Then recall. Honestly, I think I can just kill the motor crazy again, so I'll just stay. Okay. Let's get out now. We have Strybreaker Gold. So we no longer have to stand still to proc our face rush. All right, let's run in. I'm thinking dead man's played. Just play for the mobility. The team's already fed, so I just have to facilitate, facilitate them, right? Let's get in here, actually. Mordecai is going to beat it, definitely. Gonna run through the new speed zone, be faster. Can't use that. Never mind, he left them alone. Good. Let's push this wave in. Sub, bro. <laughs> that has to be infuriating for him, right? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Anyway. Let's get this camp away from Phil Sticks. Good. Is Buddy here? Buddy. Oh, he's gone. Down here. Be bold. Be just. Just an old wave. Let's 
go for this turret. Get at least the demolish off. No one was defending it. Let's go for the Yorick then. Should be able to put him down. Alright, we got put down by the teammates. Good. <laughs> this has to be the most annoying thing in the universe. <laughs> I love being annoying like this. Dude, how annoying is dealing with Gary like this? I'm too fast for them to do anything, man. Bye bye. Man, if you like have really good macros, Garen, you're just unkillable. Like, if you just know where everybody is, because you can use your face rush to just face rush off with the targets that are, like, comboable, and then just run away, and they can't catch you. Okay, let's get in here. Or at least stop the Mordekaiser from getting in here. Hello, bro. Wave in. This should be a free dub. Okay, let's get back in. I bring justice. All right, can we get demolished on this turret? Probably not. We'll just have to find out. Anyway. I, I got I stayed in the mortal set I could get razor rush for free. <laughs> and then the, the fiddle ulted like oh my god oh this is too much. This is too fun. This is way too fun. Oh my god. It's so liberating man. Like you can't do anything like that with Darius. Oof. You can't like just outmaneuver people like that. Now Darius is more about just killing people. But just avoiding them, annoying them, is such a like a fun art as Garen. An art I now respect. Alright, let's see who's coming up. Any juicers? Hello, buddy. I should have gone for the, the wolves. Yeah, I don't think they're stepping. Also, we have 4k gold almost. Let's spend it. You're on your own, Hecker. Anyway, um, what item will be the best here? Let's go for Storm Race. <laughs> um, there we go. And then let's go for Navori Quick Blades. Maybe Infinity Edge? Nah, Navori Quick Blades would increase our uh, ult damage too. So yeah. Okay, let's run down here. Gotta get a taste of this, bud boy. Bud boy. He's still here. Look at that. <clears throat> this never Took a while. Fine, I'll put him down though. What we do is 
Nice. They should be able to end the game here. I'll just run in in case. But it's just a matter of wrecking the turret at this point. Turret, the Nexus. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. All right, we're back from our gameplay. We're up against Cho'Gath Top as Garen. The rank of this match is in Platinum. Now, Cho'Gath seems to be a matchup where we can kind of play it earlier on, but we reach a point where he gets too high HP for us to kill. And because we're Garen, he can't really quite kill us either, right? So that's what we're looking at. And I hope it doesn't get too terrible, but we'll see how it is. Um, I'm planning on just trying to avoid his abilities and killing him with my ultimate and ignite when I can. Our ultimate should be quite um, effective against him in team fights, right? Because he has a lot of HP. Nice. Good kill. Get. Okay, nice, nice. One kill, one flash. Let's back up. I didn't even buy starting items. <laughs> because I'm such a bad boy. Anyway, um, let's get the shield for some sustain. Chogath has amazing sustain with his passive. And yeah. <clears throat> let's hope that Echo can take over this game with that lead of a start. Yeah. I'd say that this team isn't the worst for us. We certainly do a lot of work against the Kiana. If you can, like, Q her, we kind of nullified her. The same for uh, the Diana. But they do have uh, a Renata that makes life very difficult for us because she can't just ult the, um, revive the person that we ult. So, yeah, and we only have one ult to work with, right? Which sucks. Anyway, let's just chill in lane. When we get hit by Cho'Gath from a bush... He started Z. I do not mind that at all. Let's wait for the grasp to go down. Good. Got our E spin. You can't really walk up. Nice. I'm trying to conquer for like the last time, honestly, because this is the kind of match where they're in my range and stuff. So theoretically, conquer would be better. But if conquer is terrible this game as well, then it's 100% settled that phase rush is better if you're in like any elo above platinum, basically. Until then, conquer is better because people don't really do anything that you have to kind of play against, right? But yeah. Nice. Should I be a should I Oh, nice. Show his W before his um, rupture. Gotta avoid the spikes. Okay, let's get him to push this wave into us. We should be able to run him down, but we've got to do it in one go. As you guys saw, we got him to like super low health, and he's basically back to like same health as us without even using his potion. Ah, uh, okay. That kind of works, but not exactly because our wave is pushing into him. So, eh, could be a lot better, honestly. Not the worst thing in the world, though. He just run back in. And also, Phase Rush is definitely better into this lane. Hate to say it, boys, but the Conquer Garen is over. We'll just have to deal with it then. Nothing else to do, really. This is the room page, by the way. Looking to scale a bit with the um, result tree. <coughs> I could also go for like an assassinate build. Not deal with the Chogath myself, but have my team do it, you know? Oh, 
The rest part is he's just gonna heal up all that, so... Was it pointless? Mm, yeah. Also, we just wasted a word. And we get into mid lane here. Nah, count us off. Okay. I'm pretty sure this might be warded. Like this whole path. Okay, enemy junglers down there. Silence versus silence, though. He's healing us way too much. Let's just, like, play it back here. Honestly, if I go up here, he's gonna get level 6 and just chomp down on me. Instantly. Which is not a situation that would be too good for us. So, let's show. I might have to go for, like, a... A mortal remind here, honestly. Like, to be able to... Chop down the Chogath. But the thing is, he doesn't have. It's not the armor that's the problem, it's the HP. And he doesn't really have percentage health. This, I mean, there's an easy way of getting percentage health damage on Garen. I think the best bet might be to just let the teammates handle it. Yeah, that's better. Let's just play for killing the rest of the enemy team and avoiding the true death. Okay. Might go for like a Triforce then to be able to one shot with the Q and then also have a lot of damage with our E. Because Triforce has like more um, attack speed than uh, Stridebreaker and we don't really need to strike to proc our phase rush, do we? Garen has actually like a quite a versatile build path into like anything. Can get a lot done as him. Uh, he just ulted the minion there. Okay. <laughs> the funny part is I can hang back and heal up after trades, and he can just heal by healing the minions, right? But I think our sustain will end up being better than it is as the game goes on. Or the lane, rather. What are those, like, B noises when he uses his rupture? Is that, like, the, like, the Chinese drum or, like, the violin, I guess it's called? I don't know. Yeah, that is the Chinese Chugath skin. Let's try to run. We can make it, we can make it. See ya! Oof. That's how you don't trust your teammates, buddy. Oof. Life lesson from one top layer to another. <coughs> um. Yep, let's go this, this, bang, bang. Lots of damage. So I'm gonna go for a Triforce. Essence Reaper, and then we'll see where we go from there. Okay. Mumu's probably dead here. Oh, that's Echo. Okay. He's balling. He's balling. He's balling. Mumu's the one down here. Good. Echo getting fit is perfect. I mean, obviously, he's not doing as well as he should, but keep in mind that Echo's, like, terrible early game, so he's basically closer to the point of the game where he can actually carry. This guy, we can't actually box, box against him. Yeah, he's too tanky. Oh my god. Okay. Thankfully, we're reaching the stage of the game where we can heal up a lot with our passive. Okay. 
don't know about this Mumu. He's just giving up? Okay. That's a bit weird, because if he actually fought that, he might have been able to get some work done. Also, I should have used my W to proc Sheen. Then I could last hit the kill. Like that. Our <coughs> Indeed, they do, Garen. Is he doing well? He's out of mana. He's out of mana. I, will not I said the funny thing, guys. Subscribe now. Okay. Let's go get our Kindle Gem. Yeah, we are not going to be able to put him down in this game, like, ever. <laughs> it's a little funny. A little sad, but pretty much just funny. Well, we're doing pretty well, so I don't think he needs that much more hope than already has. Also, this guy, like, the thing is, this guy can actually fight in 2v1 situations and try to get some damage out. With him giving up already like he did before, I think we can basically just farm him. Okay. Let's see here. It's probably warded. I'll just ping it just in case. I don't think I have my ping ward, the ward ping warded here. I hope that is um, descriptive enough. I should have, I should have kept the ignite. I was gonna heal low back up. Ugh. I was too overzealous there with the kill. I mean, for the kill, rather. We are the good trades, good trades, good trades. Little your dodge there. Try for something, uh, a few waves, two, I think. Good, our healing's even better. It's gonna be really tough, okay. Come on, Ash Arrow, come on, Ash Arrow. Close, close. You can't catch me. I'm too fast. Come on, then. Come on, then. Hmm. Dragon's just ulted the minion, so that's one. So they're not basically planning on diving me. I was prepared to defend the dive, but okay. Nice. Try to clearly, I mean, quickly clear this and then get Triforce. Okay. We recall, get our Triforce, and then start blowing people up with our QE. Honestly, the. Like, they don't really have a lot of healing on their team, but maybe the Mortar Reminder Antia will help against the Shogath and his sustain. Though I doubt, it, like, it'll be a while until it does, though. We have the dragon secured. There's no point in me going down there, so I'll just go up here. And, uh, Tango with the Burger King. I should have maybe just gone down here. Honestly. Also, why is the, like, I think I just have, it's my audio, not your guys. But, yeah. Everything's so loud. I don't know where. I'm gonna check my audio. Yeah, I have turned up to, like, 90% like that like going over there with my screen blasting my ears with audio good let's see if that ends around here or if there are camps for Diana that um, she should be able to take so we can just cheese kill her nope nothing 
No dice. Okay. Yes, dice. Alright, whatever. <laughs> that was way too insane. I should have just ignited and killed the Diana with my ultimate. I was way too greedy there. I knew that Shogath was behind me, though, so I had to go this way instead of like towards the Shogath. Hmm. I think we can pair up our Triforce with a Storm Razor to make our Q even more powerful. Just like like a big chunk. So I'm thinking more reminder, Storm Razor, and then maybe an IE or something. By the way, we're just completely forgetting that like we're gonna deal with this Shogath, by the way. We're just not gonna deal with him at all. I asked him a ton. Okay, let's go back in. <clears throat> Pretty sure we should beat him with the Amumu. He has max health damage. Then I have ultimate, but should work anyway. I know I'm greeting for CS, but that's just how it is, baby. Good. Let's get a turret. Should be pretty quick with a Triforce. <coughs> that wasn't necessary, but okay. Okay. Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? I will not Come here. Oh, I got bamboozled. Life of an immobile melee champion. See here, can I maybe cheat some kills? We fight for those who cannot. Let's annoy him. <laughs> Good old fashioned trolling. Okay, Echo is just dead here. Let's see if we can help. Uh... <clears throat> I won't leave you. He's okay on his own, I guess. Good. You really wanna dance with me, buddy? Help me, Emily! Thank you. Thank you. That was close. Now let's get out of here. We get our more reminder, then Storm Razor. I think the game should be over by then, though. Oh, he gave the kill to the Caitlyn. Okay, they might just have a a win condition now. One K is no nothing to um, laugh at. Let's push mid. I mean, push bot and then get this third. Close, I suppose. Garen definitely feels like a champion with like that plays a bit differently to a lot of other champions. Like you gotta keep in mind what he's capable of with his move speed. Like he's definitely a champion with a lot of potential, even in high low, right? Obviously, I don't think he's like the best champion in every single situation, but I feel like it's tough to find a situation where he's useless, right? He can do a bit of everything. And this basically means that um, I'm pretty sure you can one-trick guarantee like a decently high rank. But you gotta have like your macro on point. Because a big part of all this movement stuff, annoying people, wasting their time, etc. is just your like your macro. Okay, got an alarm there. Let's go for this dragon. Okay, we should be able to end the game soon. <coughs> 
Let's go for a flank here. Keep going, boys. Keep going. I didn't kill? Oh, my God. We got to train more with Garen Ultimate. Okay. Come here, boy. Last hit to death. Come on, boys. Let's just hit it. Please hurt him. If they took their time, I'd just be like dead. Okay, Baron time. Baron time, Baron time. And we're healing a little backup. Red buff plus Garen passive. Oh my god. That's so insane. We lose both while doing Baron. Shucks. Nice. Storm Razor's in a bit more gold. I'm willing to see if I can choose a few kills for it, though. Don't mind if I do. Can't cheese kill him. He's too tanky. Okay. Come on, I hate Renata Glask. Also, I not I can't believe that didn't kill her. Oof. I don't really know my damage with this build. I know with like the like the one with Strybreaker, right? So yeah. I think Strybreaker is like first rush Strybreaker is definitely way better than Conqueror or Triforce. Right? I'm not seeing the combination of the two. Strat is better than Triforce. Phase Rush is better than Conqueror. Okay? So you can make Conqueror work, again, I have, I've mentioned this a few times in this video. You can make Conqueror work in lower ranks, but the second you're up against competent people, you have to have Phase Rush, okay? Phase Rush makes your life so much easier as Garen, and basically makes pre-level 6 trades and kills that were impossible before possible. You have to have Phase Rush. We should just be able to wipe them out here. I don't really see the enemy team being able to defend properly against the siege. Just in the game, boys. Oh no, Echo's dead. Okay, I'm coming in, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. Never mind, Jinx popped off. Okay, I'd say that's pretty much it for this match. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out. Come on. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, we're back to our gameplay. We are up against Akali Top, and we just invaded the Akali Top level one. Now, um, we kind of wasted a few more summoner spells than I had hoped we would. We wasted both my sums, we wasted both Blitzcrack sums, but on the bright side, we did get the kill, so there's that. Anyway, let's just get back into lane and deal with this Akali. Not sure if we're gonna run in here to give Luis a good leash, but I'll try my best. Do what we can here. And run back top. <coughs> I'll call this a pretty bad match for Garen, though, so I doubt I can do too much, but we'll see. She did rank her Shroud level 1, though, so I shouldn't be afraid of here. Q off. Do some decent damage there. That she overextended to receive. Ah, close. I, I, I cancel my auto attack at the last second. Uh, that was annoying. Oh well, let's get back up top.
I also should have gone for like some attack speed or whatever, but without boots, I would not be able to keep up with her and do my full e-spin. Mm, not good. Because this is up here, so let's just chill, honestly. Get away, cause right around the corner. He's gonna take the crab, but I doubt he's just gonna be gone completely. Might still be here, who knows? I'll chill until I see him elsewhere. At which point I'll probably just chill some more. <laughs> Jesus, she does so much damage. Also early too. She does have a lot of it, like a bullet power though, so maybe that's it. Oof. That's his flash gone, that's her ignite gone. That sucks. <clears throat> Let's give her a taxi then. And run back in. At this point, we're just going to play it safe. Kali's a tough matchup we can't really do too much about. So it's best for us to just essentially not do too much the whole lane. Respect her space and uh, not die. The team seems to be ahead enough on their own. To the point where like we don't really need to carry this game. Don't need to do anything special. All we gotta do is survive. So that Kali is not a problem. Nice. Man, if I didn't mess up that little dive thing, I mean, it would have been so much better. I mean, would it have, really? Because she'd still do all this once she hit level 3, right? Yeah, it's just a doom lane for Garen, isn't it? I hate how because she shrouds, the minions just drop their aggro on her. Ugh, pretty gross. She's got her ultimate. I keep wanting to go for a CS, but I have to constantly remind myself that it's not necessary. We shouldn't die this lane. That is it. Bullet point. Honestly, if I just get level 6, that should be good enough for me to be useful. Not sure why she isn't just overforcing a fight on me here. Like, the second I'm in, like, you know, clear range, she's just shuriken me. I mean, now that I have level 6, she can't do that anymore, but she should have just all in me when I was right there. Okay. This is quite dangerous. Let's just wait for the wave to crash into us. Physics is top side, so we should just not trade. If we do, we're gonna be super low enough HP for them to uh, dive kill. Okay, that's good at least. 
Never mind. Everybody just got wiped on the team. Yeah, that sucks. <clears throat> I sincerely hope that this is fun content. <laughs> I literally have nothing to talk about or to do. This is just how it is. Bad matchup. You gotta chill. You can't do anything. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, we don't do any damage to her, man. We can't even see us in peace. <sighs> okay. Let's see what we can do here. Honestly, not much. Ward up. Maybe if we use the lead kick to get Akali out of our shroud, I could ignite Ulter. But that's about it. Okay. That's our fine. I mean, ignite gone. Ultimate gone. The, the, the other way. The other way. Is that nice. perfect 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 got her ult out got her um ignite out then we just put her down obviously this doesn't mean i'm gonna win the lane magically now the lane is still terrible for garen but at least now we have some gold to spend. 30 CS, yeah. The top lane experience. Woohoo! Okay. Let's get that going. Get some stats and walk back in. Oh. <clears throat> back into this abusive household. That is known as top lane. Okay. Our HP regen should actually get to a point where we can regen like a reasonable amount of health. I'll take that. Now we heal with our passive and our sustain stuff. Look at that healing. Oof. Sweet. I'm gonna do way better than that. Or at least we're getting our refill pots out. I don't know. The slower she pushes, the more time I get to heal.
Nice. Nicely played by this Blitzcrank. He played that so patiently. Great work. Honestly, like, I mean, we're doing a pretty decent job at just playing it, like, safe, you know? This is how it is top lane. Thankfully, our team is winning, so we have more resources to send top to kill us to Kali. Otherwise, we'd be stuck up here alone versus her, <laughs> which is not good. Not in this context, anyway. Okay. Okay, let's go back top. Honestly, we're reaching a point where we should seriously start being able to sustain against her, right? Like, look at this. This is pretty good. Level 11 is going to get even better. So, um, yeah. At this point, we've basically um, gone to, like, a... Like, she can't just poke us out on her turn anymore. Indeed, it does, Gary, my boy. She used my W earlier. It's gone. Okay. Nice. Oh, let's get back in here. Play plenty one. I should be able to one combo whoever the blitz hooks. I have my ignite and my ultimate. <laughs> Good to have a silence CC everything on Blitzcrain, isn't it? Nice, let's go for the turret. I doubt we kill it before she spawns. Actually, we do, yeah. Not to clear all this before she can TP. Nice, we get our strawberry here. Now we can run on the map and pretend like we deserve this victory. <laughs> the top lane experience, woohoo! Zeri 1v1 to Zed here. Oh my god, he's 2 8. Okay, now I get it. He's dead though. <clears throat> um, yeah, that happened. I bring justice to all. Okay, let's go top then. Nothing to really do around here. If I try to farm mid, the Zeri will just out range and put me down. Because it's going down here, we're safe up here. Let's ward up anyway. Too quick for you. I'm too fast. We got it, bro. We got a boss. Let's get up. Ah. Try to dodge whatever I could, man. That was my bad. Cause X flash. Does he live? Hope so. That's Pike flash too. All right, Pike gets the kill, but cause X gets my kill, which is terrible. While we're at their nexus, um.
don't take it. Don't take it. Okay. What can he do? How can he cook? All right, let's just go bot lane. Yeah, we're about to get wiped here. These guys are balling, man. What is going on? <laughs> what is happening? Yep. Top player experience, baby. I had five rules to pick from, and I picked spectator. <laughs> now, like, I'm saying all this stuff about, oh, top lane, you can't re-impact the match. This is more so like a higher rank thing. At lower ranks, you guys can do plenty of impacting. Like, as you can see, in some of the matches, especially the earlier ones, I'm basically single-handedly winning the games, right? So at lower low, it's definitely not a top lane thing, but at higher ranks, there's obviously, like, you know, the better player will climb, but it takes longer for a top laner to climb than to, say, like a jungler or like a mid laner. Because you just have less impact per game. You can never, bro. Bad boy. Nice. We got more AD. The enemies had no chance against me now. Nice. Let's get the wave now. Um, I think it's really tough for us to actually lose a fight when we got the Lee. Oof, they got me. We got the Akali though, one for one. I'll take it given how kind of useless I'm behind I am. Oh, that Pike ultimate actually was super useful there. To put the, like, the Lee down through the shields. Okay, I feel like he's about to get... He's going to get murdered here. Is he? It's always surprising to me when an ADC kills an assassin. It's like the other way around, you know? Okay. I doubt they can actually end there. Let's go to Baron. Bro, get out of there. You're going to die. Get out of there. Well, I'm gonna go take the the crab here, or just run to the Aphelios to see if I can help. Can he survive? Oh, come on. What is this? Nice. Kills a kill. We don't have our main source of DPS, but I think these guys can make up for it. Okay. That's fine, I can heal, I can heal, I can heal. Physics is still alive, though. Yeah, good for us to do the, the zoning. Good. Let's push this up. Nice. It should be ours.
Let's keep on keeping on. Zoe casually won't be one the Zed. I'm just gonna go for the turret. You can do whatever you want, buddy. I know I kind of lost my head at that point, but honestly, I don't really care much. Nice. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.